Okay. I released all the valves, Doctor. Is it working? Just bear with me a moment. Yes, I believe you've got it sorted. It's working again. Nicely done. Sweet. That sounds like trouble. Yeah, it does. I think they're happy with our success. Oh, shit. Oh, what the fuck? Can't get out, look, I can't get away. Well, I'm dead. That was great. <laughs> the valve, Doctor! Is it working? Just bear with me a moment. Fucking carbine, then. Yes, I believe you've got it sorted. It's working again. Nicely done. That sounds like trouble. I don't think they're happy with our success. <laughs> Left bumper. Bitch. Oh boy. Some of the kneecap, he went flying. Alrighty then. She got it working. Whoa! We receiving the signal now. <laughs> oh yes, it's coming in loud and clear. It's amazing. I'm not sure what it is yet, let alone where it's coming from, but it's interacting with our system somehow. Hmm. Like it was intended for us. But I don't understand how that could be. Maybe that's just how the story goes. What? Never mind. Oh, nothing. Is there a way I can... I'm just crazy. It, ...or however this is supposed to work? I think the signal is incomplete somehow, but you should be getting a printout of it now. What do you mean it's incomplete? It's almost as if we're only getting a fragment of it. I need the whole thing. This is important. I'm sure it is, but this is all we're getting. Huh. Did the man who looks like me get the whole thing? He locked me out of the booth, so I have no way of knowing. But I can tell you that he didn't really seem to understand it. Huh. So, what's in the sky? It doesn't make any sense. The stars are just... they're wrong. I thought I'd be able to see something, but it's like I'm looking at a sky that's just... it's not the right sky. But that's impossible. Like all the stars and moons or something. I myself a rational huh. man, Doctor. But this isn't a thing you can measure or explain. I I've seen impossible things that have taught me just to roll with some punches. It's either that, or go insane. I find it disturbing that you sound like you're speaking from ample experience. <laughs> Alright, where's this printout? A printout of a signal. It too is a weapon created by the Champion of Light. In its words, stirs a new reality. But it is incomplete. Hmm. And yet, it provides a roadmap for the man to follow. 
a course that will lead him to a place where he may confront his enemy. What the hell? I guess we're leaving and going back to town? Alright. I didn't get the hunting rifle. That sucks. <clears throat> oh, a drive-in theater. The drive-in. Once the site of lurid celluloid fantasies, it's now the site of an art exhibition. And yet, it's the search for closure. The Mexican handoff? <laughs> that brings the champion of light here. Investigate the drive in theater. What the hell? What the fuck? There's a girl over there. There's a girl in there. I'll check this out though. Damn it. Alright, let's check out the building. Let's see who this crazy girl is. She's still in there. Ow. What the hell? Aha, I found a manuscript page. Well, if we go back to the observatory, I can get the hunting rifle now. Right Falls. My riders blocked up worse. I didn't sleep much anymore. My life with Alice seemed like a constant fight. I was a wreck. Alice took steps. She booked a vacation in Bright Falls, a small town in Washington. It was supposed to be a chance to break out of the cycle I was in. She didn't know about the darkness in Calder Lake. Wait a minute. I just realized something. Bright Falls, Night Springs. They're opposites. Springs and Falls, Night and Bright. So his wife took him to a town that just happened to be the opposite name of his series he wrote for? I never even realized that the the connection there. Oh, it's you. Mmm, that's fantastic. What the? Okay. Go away. No, I want you. Whoa! But you'll get angry if you're here. She's infected. So you gotta go. You know I'll do what you want. Okay. She got darkness I, around her. I love you so much. Did you know that love hurts? Are you gonna hurt me now? Cause you should. Whoa! Lady, you got darkness on the brain. Uh -huh. I, I think I can help you if I can get the lights on in here. You can't turn the power back on. It's not allowed. You said. So, where shouldn't I go so I don't turn the power back on? Accidentally. <laughs> it's the big building on the other side of the drive-in, but it's locked. Where's the key? Just so that I know to avoid it. So I know to avoid it. It's, it's on the wall next to the cash register. But you can't. You can't. Don't be bad. <laughs> hey, no problem. I'm just going to go do some other stuff. Scout's honor. Mm. <laughs> mm. Just try to stay calm. I've seen this kind of thing before. I think you're gonna be okay. Why did I... Why is it so hard to think? You've been touched by darkness. It's... I'm hoping it's not permanent. Remember when uh, you were here before? You've been you touched by someone's dark saber. And then everything got all dark. I have my lightsaber. That was the best. <clears throat> Listen, this is very important. Where did he... I mean, where did I go? Can you tell me that? Baby, you don't need to go anywhere. Oh, you're boy. Here now. She's nuts. And you're in my <laughs> head. 
You should be in me. Whoa! Touch me again. Whoa! Oh, with a ten-foot pole, lady. <laughs>